you guys. Hey guys. So here I am in an undisclosed location in the middle of nowhere, ready for the press release of Tricorum's Doctor Who, Series 3, Episode 1. We'll be having interviews with Jake Saunders, Mike Rhodes, Kyle Sherlock, and Jamie Howard. See you after we've watched it. So uh, you are the director, editor, and main character in this uh, series. Uh, what would you find? What did you find the most difficult role to be? Um, the most difficult role easily is the acting because directing and acting at the same time when you're having to direct yourself, you're more sort of concentrating on your positioning and your you're not really you sort of you having to divide your attention between directing the shot as well as acting at the same time and you know fingers crossed neither suffered because. I was sort of doing both at the same time. Of course, Mike's nodding in the sort of <laughs> system. It did sabotage the shots, yeah. but um, well, hopefully it uh, didn't. Well, well, shaking your head like a muppet. Hello, uh, Mike. You're also an editor, and you play a, a main role in this uh, series, this episode. Um, which did you, which did you find uh, more difficult, and what was your highlight well, of between this the role, between the roles and the effects? Yeah, and um, what was your uh, highlight of playing your character without Thanks. telling us who your character is? My highlight's not really actors. Obviously, I'm not there mainly in the episode. Unless with the other character I played, it was just fun because there was what that one scene that we did when uh, Jake walks off, I just stand there and just. Do you like the moment of the top wave? What about the part where you almost kill me with a knife? That was also another highlight, and then John hit me in the face was the, probably the highlight as well. Um, that was great. Well, I don't think it was any difficulties, not in my case. Like, probably more for Jay's case with him being the director as well as the main uh, protagonist. Everyone enjoyed the episodes after. I don't mind. I do it for everyone else. Question for both of you, uh, both being editors and having spent months and months on this and having to constantly postpone like the uh, release date and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> after this uh, press release and with uh, some of the cast and some fans uh, having the opportunity to watch this first episode before it gets uploaded to YouTube and released, um, what was your reaction to our reaction? Um, how, how do you feel about the way it was received? I think we summed it up quite well when we went back to learn as well. I was just gave each other a high five. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's everything you want from an audience's yeah. reaction. Everyone laughed at the appropriately funny parts. Um, the, yeah, well, spoilers. spoilers, but, well, no, it's not spoilers. I'm, I'm avoiding spoilers, but, you know, everyone loved the intro and the way it flows, and um, yeah, everyone loves, Everyone loved the ending, and you know it's not really a spoiler, but it's sort yeah. of like says to be continued, and everyone just sort of scream no at the yeah. TV, and that's like classic Who, isn't it, with a massive yeah. cliffhanger, um, which you know we've captured that essence. So yeah, we've you know we're very very happy with the reaction, especially with the fact yeah. that it took a long time to get this done. Well, really. yeah, it's, well, it's um, not our fault. It's yeah. not our fault because we've had to contend with the second year of university. I mean, yeah. ideally now that. Universities out of the way for so we can concentrate on getting the episodes done because uh, we'll have a lot more time. <coughs> yeah. Being in series three now, um, is there anything you particularly feel that you've improved on over the last two, three oh, series? Two to three. Yeah, uh, series one through to three. Is there anything? Well, um, what would you in say? Series one. Um, terrible. We had. I, I don't even. I can't remember what the camera was. <coughs> it, was, it, was my, it was my. It wasn't HD. It wasn't HD, but it was my. It camera. wasn't until maybe halfway through episode four that we actually had a designated director, yeah. and even then it wasn't really an official title. Yeah. Um, I think by the end of the series two, we kind of had more of a. Um, well, we all sort of support for them. Yeah, we, we were more passionate about it. Whereas yeah. series one, we were just pissing about. Yeah. Right? I think especially when with with you, with your college and then the university, with. You'll learn well, well, yeah, in well, series one I wanted to be a paleontologist, but we should. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then now you're, you know, doing media and everything. Well, it, it shows in series two. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to sound... Mm. Oh, yeah, you, no, you have from you can, series two to series three. You, you, can, you can see the difference. Yeah, easily. Um, I mean, obviously there's ob obvious things like the, the, the HD, and but it, you know, it comes with the age and the yeah. experience. And you, you become more professional in what you do because you, know, you take more time, you, you're more professional on set as much as... It's a pain with 
nutcases to contend with. Yeah, yeah, especially when the series two we kind of rushed the film in a way. We did, yeah. And then but the series the series two we kind of took it a bit easy. We did well. <laughs> easy. Well, we say easy. Uh, I think we bit off a bit more. Than we could Doesn't help that someone so. goes to a single lesson and gets a chippy <laughs> when you're waiting in a location for two hours. No, no it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> to be fair, that, that particular scene in question just blew everyone away. Yeah. Including yourself yeah. if you hadn't seen it. Yes. Um, yeah. So, at the end of the day, it all worked out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was worth the chippy in the single lesson. <laughs> we didn't get. No, we didn't get either. Yeah. Yeah. Chippy, no. Um. Moving on, if if um, we have like new viewers and new fans uh, seeing series three for the first time um, and not having seen uh, series one and two, is there anything, any kind of advice you would give them or Go watch anything, it. anything uh, you'd like to say? Unfortunately, uh, to truly understand what's happening, you're going to have to sort of watch. go back and watch. Yeah. Put yourself I mean, through that pain. Yeah, put yourself through that pain of watching stuff that. <laughs> Isn't media, uh, <laughs> it's true. but it, it's, it's. I suppose you can watch it sort of neutral. I mean, that's probably the best because it's the best stuff. Series three. Um, I, I mean, as long as you to to new people, as long as you sort of accept that there's a guy called Morskus and he's coming back and he's been there before, then you'll be fine, I think. Um, but for some, because there's a scene halfway through which is sort of your exposition for why he's returning and how he's returning and you're not really going to understand that properly unless you've seen the earlier episodes yeah. um, but as I say as long as you just sort of accept there's a dirty bloke not a dirty bloke a sort of an, an, an evil chap yeah dirty bloke <laughs> poor choice of words um, wow. there's a we don't know what he does in his spare time he's well, been in like he's, he's been in, some... he's been in suspended time for <clears throat> X amount of years he could have got up to all sorts of yeah if you play the Xbox One that, oh dear no wonder he's so full of pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, um, with uh, Tricorum's hopefully uh, moving on to bigger things in the near future, um, is there anything that you'd like to discuss about um, possible ideas that you have or ideas that you'd like to Be make in the Jake. future without um, that you may not be able to make now? Short answer. No, <laughs> uh, because we very recently decided not to shoot any more Doctor Who this summer, yeah. um, so we can complete series three. In a prof you know, we can commit properly instead of juggling both. Um, so we've just suddenly decided this last week to film something else, like short, um, like a, a short fifteen-minute film or yeah. something. Uh, what we've got so far mm -hmm. is that there'll be, I imagine, sci-fi elements because we like to keep a theme consistent throughout. No, we haven't really got any ideas, but it's one of those things where if we've got time to shoot it, we'll we'll, do. we'll shoot it, you know, but our, our priority is firmly focused on editing and finishing Sweet. series three, and if, you know, if we get time to do something else, then great, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Uh, very finally, anything that you'd like to say to either potential fans or current fans out there? I'd like to say a big hello to my mum, who has always believed in me. Um, I like to say I'm not really associated with him. I'm just using him for his effects. Um, I've been wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 I think, uh, in all seriousness, we're, we're not, you know, as big as regular Doctor Who. There's, there's flaws. We have no budget. Um, you know, location-wise, we're not on the ball. So it's a case of as long as you accept us for these flaws, it's not bad viewing. If you That's enjoy it, it's enjoy it. Well. Thank you. Brilliant. Alright, thank you guys. Hello. Jamie Howard. Hello. Hello YouTube. Good um, to see you. So you played the role of the master in episode one and most of series three. Um, what was your most uh, favourite moment playing the master in episode one? Well, I would have to say my personal favourite moment from episode one is most definitely the Sherwood Forest scenes and not to give away too much information but my personal favourite scene throughout the entire series you have yet to see and when you see it you will know exactly which scenes it is. How was your reaction when you found out that you were being cast as the master in this series? Well. 
To be honest, when I first found out I was being cast as the master, I had looked at the previous actors that had played the master and thought, you know, can I match up to the stature? Can I fill the role of the master? And I, I personally think I gave the master my own personal twist, my own interpretation of how I feel I would have done the master. And I only hope the Doctor Who fans and the YouTube fans who love Tricorums agree with my interpretation of the master. Um, expanding on that, um, what is, is there any particular extra feature that you felt that you brought to the master? Well, I did inspire most of my master's attributes from John Sim, but unlike John Sim, instead of a playful master, I felt I brought a bit more of a dark, sinister master, a bit more of an archetypal villain. Having just viewed the press release of uh, episode one, uh, what was your reaction and how do you feel it um, came across? Well, how I believe it came across will be different from the fans and the viewers because I was, you know, behind the scenes with certain scening and was <coughs> involved in certain inside jokes, shall we say. But I feel it went quite well and doesn't reveal too much as to what the forthcoming episodes have to offer to the fans. Thank you very much, Jamie. Uh, thank you for your time. And we will see you in episode two. So, uh, how did you feel about uh, viewing episode one for the first time, Kyle? Um, Miss Bar. So, we welcome a brand new viewer to the Tricorums fan base. Uh, your name's Rachel. Yes. Uh, what was your um, exact reaction to viewing episode one of series three? It was absolutely amazing. I mean, I've seen season one and two right through together, and season three, I was really looking forward to it, just waiting for Jake to finish the editing in the last few months, and it's passed all my expectations. Absolutely amazing episode. Uh, is there any particular favourite uh, actor or character that you have um, that features? I really like the uh, Maid Marion bit. She just comes in and forms Max Robin Hood. I was just like, yes, brilliant. But, um, I'm looking forward to seeing more of Master because he was really, really evil and um, I love John Smith's and as Jamie said earlier, um, John Smith's Master's really playful and I really like like, the full evil side that Jamie brought to the Master so I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Um, looking at the Master, do you think he's a, a particular character or actor that you could possibly fangirl over there in the future? I mm, don't know, possibly. Perhaps I'll have to see a bit more. <laughs> Well, that's the master friend zoned. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you very much for your interview. So, Chris, what did you think of the episode? Uh, episode one, I thought, was pretty darn good. Um, I know that the, the next few episodes are going to be even more amazing as well, so there's plenty more to come. Um, but for the first episode in this series, I think it's been pretty amazing. Out of episode one, which obviously you were in, what was your favourite scene? Uh, my spoiler. favourite scene I personally cannot reveal because it would be a spoiler. Oh, fuck. Uh, however, um, I had a bit of a fangasm when I watched it because um, it's my little badass moment in most of the series. It's well known amongst the cast and crew that the episode has been delayed mm -hmm. I don't know how many times now. Uh, my simple question to you is was it worth the wait? Uh, most definitely worth the wait. Um, been very annoying for most of the cast and crew, how, as fans. we are major fans of our own work. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, some, some fans have been uh, waiting a little too long as well, but the fact that it's finally arriving in the next few weeks properly to be released uh, is very, very exciting. Well, that's all for this week. Bye! Bye.